So can you use studio monitor speakers, such as these ones I've got here, my Yamaha HS7s, as just normal computer speakers? Well, the answer is quite simply yes, you can. And in a bit, I'll show you how you can set it up easily on either a Mac or a PC to get it working for other uses such as gaming or just listening to other music. But I'm first I'm going to answer that question. I mean, the answer is yes, but why would you want to? And I'll pose that question to you first. If you already own the speakers because you bought them for producing music, then it makes a lot of sense. You know, you might as well use them for, um, for listening to other music or for doing uh, other things on your computer. But there will be downsides to that. The whole point of studio monitor speakers such as these is that they have a flat response, which means that they're, they're meant for producing music. So they're ideal for it not overemphasizing certain frequencies such as bass, which a lot of other speakers which are designed for the listening experience will do. So you're going to get that flat response. So the treble, the bass are all going to sound fairly similar. Nothing's going to be boosted or enhanced. So if you want to game with the using these speakers and you want that full experience that you might get in like a cinema or something like that with that booming bass uh, that you hear, then maybe they're not the best option if you don't already own them because they're expensive. You know, if you're not going to use them for music production, then it's not a sensible option really because you can get great computer speakers with surround sound and things like that which will do a much better job probably for cheaper but if you already own them then why not i mean i use them for various other things like listening to music on spotify and things like that and they're perfectly fine for that you know they won't give you the greatest sound of the world but they'll definitely be better than a lot of headphones or speakers and uh, you know it's, it's a different sound but it's perfectly acceptable and for me you know having two sets of speakers plugged in all the time just seems pointless but if you still want to use the speakers as computer speakers after listening to that then i'll show you quickly now how to do that now the easiest way to connect monitor speakers to your laptop is by using an audio interface um, you can connect directly to a laptop uh, you don't need an audio interface I, I did a video on how to do that it's really simple you just need one cable basically uh, i'll leave a link in the corner to that video if that would be useful uh, but once you've connected them up to the laptop, you just need to basically select a few things to get them working. So I'll just show you that now. So if you decided to connect your studio monitors to your laptop or computer without an audio interface, then it should just work just like any headphones because you're plugging into your headphone jack. It'll just work straight away as if it's any other headphones or speakers. If you're using an audio interface, it's slightly more complicated. Uh, when you plug that USB in, um, to your laptop or computer, it probably won't automatically start playing out of the speakers. So you just need to make a quick adjustment in your settings to make sure that it uses the speakers as your default sound. So if we look here, on, I'm on a Mac at the moment, um, you simply, the quickest way to do it is to click on the icon up here, which is the little speaker icon, and you'll have the option of either the internal speakers, so that's the speakers in the laptop, um, or the headphones that are plugged into your headphone jack. Uh, you could probably, you'll probably have the option of your monitor, your screen. Uh, but here is my Scarlett TI4 USB interface or whatever your audio interface is. Uh, that should show up here hopefully and just select that and that will then, the sound will then come out of there and you adjust the volume on the interface itself. So there should be a, a volume on there. So you won't be uh, adjusting the volume using the computer volume up and down, you'll be doing it on the interface. So if you can't hear anything, that's the thing to check. Make sure this, the volume is turned up on the audio interface and also on the backs of the speakers as well. Make sure everything is turned up so you can hear it. Um, if it doesn't come up here, there's for some reason you click or you can't find that icon up there, you can go to the settings, the system preferences in on a Mac and click on sound and then go to output and there again, it should be there and you should be able to select it there. Hopefully it'll be there. If it's not appearing in the list, then try unplugging the USB, plugging it back in, try plugging it into different USB slots. Sometimes some audio interfaces can be a bit funny. Uh, certain laptops, um, 
can have trouble picking them up from certain USB ports for some reason. So try all your USB ports. It's pretty simple as well. I've just loaded up on my Windows laptop here. Again, I've plugged in the Scarlett audio interface by USB, which my monitor speakers are plugged into. Uh, then I just simply click on the speaker icon at the bottom of the screen. On Windows, you click on this, and there it is, Focus Right USB Audio, once again, and that will mean that any sound I play from the computer, whether it's YouTube or anything else on the internet, will come out of those speakers. Fantastic. If you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more to come around recording music at home. Thank you.